Hi, we're here with Dr. Tamara Camo. Dr. Camo is board certified in OBGYN. She is board certified in anti-aging and regenerative medicine, board certified in integrative cancer care. She is an herbalist and essential oilist and <laughs> specializes in a lot of things. And she's a big part of our wellness program here at Radiance. Well, tell us about hormone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. I know that um, you know, many years ago there was a scare and when the, that, this Women's Health Organization study came out and everybody was taken off their hormone replacement right. therapy. And um, there's still, I find there still is a fear about taking hormone replacement therapy. Um, address that if you will and also address, um, there, there definitely are some people mm -hmm. in which hormone replacement therapy is contraindicated right. and how can you help them uh, address their symptoms of uh, andropause or menopause? So yeah, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of how I got into this. Um, I started my practice the year that WHI study came out. So, you know, in residency they teach us, hey, when they go through menopause, give them Prempro. That's what they did the study on, the drug Prempro. And that was it. That's literally your entire menopause seminar. <laughs> Hi, Prempro. Bye, see you next, you know, I mean, that's it. They, they teach you nothing about herbs, nothing about essential oils, nothing about their vitamins. People don't realize that once you run out of hormones, which did everything for you, your need for vitamins might go up. On the back of the bottle, it just says, if you're under 12, take one. If you're over 12, take two. But it never tells you, well, if you're in menopause, you need 10. <laughs> so, and, and sometimes I tell people, like, you know, you think you're eating the right thing and getting the right vitamins, but we haven't calculated your needs. It's like Michael Phelps and I aren't going to have the same vitamin regimen. He's swimming so many miles a day. He's going to have different needs than everyone else. And as a menopausal or a man in andropause, you have very different needs. So calculating a person's need of everything is very important. So once everybody stopped taking their hormones, I had to get much more creative about dealing with some of the issues of menopause. I started dabbling in herbs, so that's why I became a master herbalist. <laughs> you know, this is a journey over 15 years. I've been doing this for over 15 years, and every year I sort of pick up a new hobby so <laughs> certification hobby whatever you know we all call things different but so the, you know one of the first things I learned was herbs because that's what my mother was doing my mother did not want to take hormones and when I was learning all of this or when I was learning hormones she was like no I'm just gonna play with my herbs and I would call her and say well what did you do because <laughs> my patients can't have hormones anymore and you know and that's how another reason I learned aromatherapy after you calculate how many vitamins and pills and herbs they need. They don't want to take all those pills and oils are a very convenient way to cover a lot of ground so we don't have to do so many pills. So, you know, I, I have a lot of different ways that I get at what people need and there are some people who had cancer and want to still maybe take hormones and I might find a hormone that's okay for that particular cancer or I might find an herb or an essential oil that's going to work better for them. So we kind of get through what their family history is, what their history is, and what type of risk they're willing to tolerate. So if you'd like to see Dr. Como, give us a call here at Radiance.